Hey guys, it's KJ here from the Scariest Movie Ever channel on YouTube, and I have got something pretty crazy to show you. So if you're not familiar with my channel or my work, please check out some of my videos, and you'll see that typically what I do around here is we explore the language of symbols around us, all around the world, in the media, and just in reality around us. Advertisement, music videos, award shows. I often say that the veil is lifting, and the veil is lifting on the spiritual. The spiritual is coming in more and more. This is tied into a lot of our research on what we call the Illuminati. The Illuminati is just one term for these people. Essentially, they are doing the devil's work. They are the devil's hands here on this planet. And this so-called Illuminati, or these people at the top of the pyramid, have been working for a very, very long time to create the One World Order, the New World Order, the Antichrist system, or the Beast system as I call it. And as you've seen here on my channel and many other channels on YouTube and the internet in general, that the more we explore and the deeper we investigate the occult nature of our world, and once again the occult is really coming out more and more. The occult means hidden. And as we enter this beast system, as we approach the fifth age, as we approach the matured new world order, we're finding more and more clues, hints, synchronicities, and sometimes some very clever little tricks. For instance, you may remember this one. This was a really big deal just a few years ago online. But if you type in Illuminati backwards in any search engine, it doesn't have to be Google. Then press go. It takes us right here. It takes us to the NSA. Wink, wink. Get it? We have to understand this stuff is on purpose. These people know what they're doing. They do things like this. They play little tricks. And this certainly isn't by accident. This is planned. And as I've said, we see stuff like this from time to time. It's just so obvious and right in your face, right? But of course, still, so few people believe this kind of a thing, even when they see it. Which brings me to the point of this video. Now some of you may be familiar with the animation called I Pet Goat 2. It was a short film with a commentary on American society and politics. It focused on the agendas of George Bush and Barack Obama, also essentially showing them as the same person. It also has a lot of allusions to uh, biblical theology and Egyptian imagery, all in a post-apocalyptic setting. Now, if you're not familiar with iPet Goat 2, please check this out. And if you're awake and aware of the times we're in and the things that are happening, it's going to make a lot of sense to you. If not, it's just going to be kind of weird, but you'll probably still like it. It's very interesting. It's very intriguing. It definitely pulls you in. But I think that's because this is literally something from the spiritual. Once again, we're given these clues. You know, as the veil lifts, more and more of this stuff is coming out. And I'm about to show you just how serious this iPet Goat 2 is. Before I do, let's take a look at where iPet Goat 2 came from. What was the whole reason for making this? The title is actually a reference to the pet goat. It's often erroneously titled My Pet Goat, but it's a book that children at Emma Booker School in Sarasota, Florida read to President Bush at the exact same time of the September 11th attacks. It's also interesting to note that the very last words in that book are, quote, more to come. I've covered this in other videos before. I've shown you footage from this. If you haven't seen it before, please just look up George Bush reading Pet Goat, something like that, and you're going to get to see the whole clip play out. There's plenty of them here on YouTube. But when you actually grasp what's going on here, it's absolutely amazing and a little bit disturbing. This is literally a spell being played out. We often talk about the Illuminati and these people at the top of the pyramid being essentially magicians, sorcerers, witches, men and women. 
And there's plenty of historical writings and connections to be found that'll show you this is very true. That essentially these people we call Illuminati, or the powers that be, or the top of the pyramid, whatever, they're basically Satanists. So we live in a world that is ruled by public rituals right in front of our face, spells being cast in music, even through images and subliminal messages and commercials, you name it, I mean, it's all around us. And this situation right here, of course, he's in the classroom the day of the attacks, right, reading the book, reading the book My Pet Goat with the kids. What's even more creepy is at one point the teacher has the kids repeat certain words, and those words are, if I can remember correctly, it's it's kite, plane, must, hit, steel, as in steel beams, S-T-E-E-L. Once again, you can look this up, but when you start taking it into context and realizing what it is that you're actually seeing, again, it's a little bit disturbing, because this is what they're doing. This was a huge spell being cast. And of course, it's also very important to note that the allusion to my pet goat goes right back to the Baphomet, or the transgendered goat god which connects with another subject I've covered quite a bit here on the channel and once again that is that androgyny movement that we're seeing in our world right now in our society and it's really being propelled through mainstream media on a constant basis so once again it is this combination of the man and the woman the androgyny so just yesterday a very good friend of mine here on YouTube and somebody whose work I greatly respect uh, that's Casey from Enter the Stars, he put up this video right here is I Pet Goat, Google Earth Search takes you to CERN. Ah! <laughs> indeed though, indeed ah. This is pretty crazy what I'm about to show you here. So I gotta give a shout out to Casey, uh, great work for getting this out there. I think in this video he gave credit to one of the subscribers for first bringing this information to him. So I'll leave a link underneath this video. If you'd like to go check out Casey's, please do, and you can find out a little bit more in his perspective on this. And even if not that, please check out his channel to check out more of his work. He's doing some amazing things, and if you like the way we pick things apart here on my channel, I have no doubt you'll like Casey's work as well. So I just want to show you exactly what it is that's taking place here. Check this out. Okay, so here we are, and we're on Google Earth, okay? So what you do is up here in the search engine, use parentheses, type in I, pet, goat, and press search. And it takes us right to CERN. Now once again folks, if you're new to this and you don't know anything about CERN or what's going on, some of this may be lost on you, but I'm hoping that this will lead you down the path and you'll start doing a little investigating. But for those of us that are in the know and understand these things, this is huge. Now what's weird is the first time that I typed this in, I pet goat, I actually got two addresses. I got CERN as A, and that's in Switzerland, and then as B, no kidding, I got Dome on the Rock in Israel and it's not coming up again now I'm not sure why but that was my B choice once again I thought that was really eerie and very interesting but either way folks this is it it's right here in front of your face and as far as I'm concerned this is huge there's no denying this okay now basically what they're doing of at CERN many of us believe is they're trying to bring in the Antichrist they're trying to open the pit if you will and really bring in that spirit that's one angle on it. And there's a lot of other angles on CERN as well. I've done several videos on that. And there's a lot happening at CERN. And there's a lot going on at CERN that is just absolutely otherworldly. Very strange, very weird, really bizarre stuff. And tons of occult symbolism surrounding it. So once again, guys, we're finding these people at the top of the pyramid. These elites, these Illuminati, whatever we want to call them. These Satanists that are in charge, right? doing these massive rituals, doing these massive spells all around the world. These people have an agenda and they're hard at work at it. Now meanwhile, most of us aren't catching on to this stuff because of you know, the entertainment that we're into, or the lifestyles we're leading, the kind of food we're taking in is dumbing us down. We're just trying to make a paycheck nowadays and raise a family. I mean, it's tough out there, right? People have so many other things to keep them busy and so many other things to keep them distracted that, of course, this isn't very popular to look into this kind of thing. 
but it matters. It matters in a really, really big way, guys. This is huge. This is no coincidence that we find I Pet Goat connected to the 9-11 false flag attacks with George Bush reading I Pet Goat. We have the animation that came out called I Pet Goat 2. Once again, check that out. It covers everything. It's very deep. It's showing all these connections. Okay, there it is, cool. So I went through my history, and as you can see right there, I mean, I just downloaded Google Earth today and did this. Did a few searches there, right, but this is my very first search for iPet Goat, and as you can see right there, the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem was the second choice that came up. And just a few things on the Dome of the Rock, uh, it was interesting, in the new TV series Dig, which recently concluded, part of the storyline for Dig was that there's a religious cult that was trying to destroy the Dome of the Rock, at the same time performing a ritual, essentially usher in the Jewish Messiah. Now the Jewish Messiah, for many of us, we would call the Antichrist. Then of course there were shows like Under the Dome, which I think is still out there, but once again we find these kind of signals, we find these connections, these hints back to the dome. Uh, still to this day, I consider this one of the most interesting I've seen as far as these UFO sightings go. This is a close-up shot. And then here's one a little further away and if you haven't seen this one, just look it up and definitely check it out. It's very interesting. Uh, it's actually recorded by a bunch of tourists. In fact, a lot of them sound like they have kind of southern accents, and they're really amazed at what they're seeing here. You know, so what's it all mean? You know, where's it all leading? Well, a lot of us uh, can see what's happening, and this stuff is biblical. Whether people want to admit that or not, this is happening. This is prophecy, and we're actually living in these times. Now many of you know I'm not a real religious person, but I am deeply spiritual, and I would just tell you this, that all these things we're seeing, basically what it's telling me, I need to tell you, and I've said it in a few other videos as well, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, if you don't know God, if you have no relationship with God, now is the time, now is the time to really start considering it. I can't twist your arm, I can't tell you what to do. I can just tell you what I see, I can tell you how I'm handling it and how I deal with it, and I can tell you what I see is coming. The veil really is lifting, and the spiritual is coming through. We're living in fascinating times. I personally believe the only way out of this is through a relationship with Jesus Christ, to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. It's not that hard to do. It's pretty easy. The simplicity is brilliant. And basically accepting Christ is accepting God the Father, the Creator. He came here in flesh, came here in human form to give us a chance. And if you haven't accepted that gift yet, once again, please, now's the time to really start looking into this. It's a video, folks. It's crazy stuff out there. Uh, thanks for checking it out, and I'll talk to you soon.